In this example, we want to solve the initial value problem. x prime is the matrix 1 minus 4 to 5 times x, where x of 0 is 3, 2, as well as sketch a phase portrait for this system. So we start by looking for the eigenvalues and eigenvalues of this matrix. The eigenvalues will be given by the determinant of 1 minus lambda minus 4 to 5 minus lambda, and setting that to 0. This determinant is lambda 5 minus lambda plus 8 lambda squared minus 6 lambda plus 5 plus 8 is plus 13. That doesn't factor, so let's look for the quadratic formula to find the eigenvalues. We would get that lambda is 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 13 is minus 52 all over 2, which is 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 16, 2, which is 3 plus or minus 2i. These are complex, we we're looking at a spiral of sorts, and because it's a complex eigenvalue with a positive real part, this will be a spiral source. So let's now hunt for the eigenvector. We take lambda to be 3 plus 2i. The matrix a minus 3 plus 2i times i becomes 1 minus 3 plus 2i, negative 4, 2, 5 minus 3 plus 2i, which is negative 2 minus 2i minus 4, 2, 2 minus 2. You divide both rows by 2. Negative 1 minus i minus 2, 1, 1 minus i. Multiply the top row by a 1 minus i. See, these are equivalent equations. We can just use the bottom one here to write an eigenvector. This means that an eigenvector here must satisfy that v1 plus 1 minus i v2 is 0, or I can take it to be 1 minus i and minus 1. Now that we have an eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector, we can then go through figuring out the real value generator solution to solve the initial value problem and sketch the face portrait. So based on this, we know that a complex value solution is 1 minus i minus 1 e to the 3 plus 2i t. We can expand out and distribute that inside the vector solution. With this left, we're coming from the fact that i times minus i is plus 1. Then we can split into the real imaginary parts. Because the real part will consist of real term, real term, and real term. The imaginary part is imaginary term, imaginary term, and imaginary term. The general solution with this is going to be C1 times the real part, or the green term, plus a C2 times the imaginary part, which will be the purple term. Now, if we want to solve an initial condition, we want to make this match up with a certain value at t equals 0. So let's take this and plug in t equals 0 and see what we get. So at t equals 0, all the exponentials go to 1, cosine goes to 1, and sine goes to 0. So I will get c1 times this green vector, which becomes on top 1 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is 1, and a minus 1 on the bottom, plus c2 times the purple vector, which is going to be a negative 1 on top and a 0 on the bottom. I wanted this to equal the vector 3, 2. If I were to write this as a system, I would get that this tells me that c1 minus c2 equals 3 and negative c1 equals 2, which means that c1 is minus 2, and then therefore c2 must be negative 5. So that means my solution to the actual problem is negative 2 times that first term, and then minus 5 times the second term. You can also combine these together to get, so for either 3t cosine of 2t, I get minus 2 and plus 5, so 3. For sine, I get minus 5 minus 2, so minus 7, e to the 3t sine of t. And then 2 e to the 3t cosine of 2t plus 5 e to the 3. Now, what does the phase portrait look like here? Well, we can start by drawing some axes. Let's look at this first solution. This green solution here, at t equals 0, is at 1 minus 1. I'm ignoring the coefficient in front. It's at 1 minus 1. So it's down here. And then at t equals pi over 4, because that's going to make cosine go to 0, it is at positive e to the 3 pi over 4 and 0. So it's up here. And again, we are spiraling outward spiral source. So we know we are spiraling in this general direction. Just to check the point, for the purple solution, the other one 
it starts at negative one zero and then at say t equals pi over eight which will make the first component zero because it'll make sine equal cosine the value of y is negative so when you hit the y-axis negative so down here somewhere which again confirms the direction of spiraling for this setup so we have a spiral source and we get the direction of spiraling from this that's how you can go about solving this initial value problem as well as section the phase portrait for this consequent efficient system where you have complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors.